Hey guys, oh, this is interesting. Guys, I can't tell you whether this is 100% true or not, but leaked planetary defense papers suggest that the US secretly watched interstellar object 3i Atlas for 20 years for 20 years so that means it wasn't just discovered on july 21st this is when hobby astronomers started to discover it we have classified images that allegedly reveal structured emissions from 3i atlas hinting at two decades of covert u.s planetary defense preparation i am telling you what i found to that i can't give you um what do i say it's not about an opinion I, I can't give you security if this is true or not or what it is listen carefully guys and then really make up your own mind so leaked documents and images suggest the united states has been quietly tracking interstellar object 3i atlas for more than 20 years they were using an advanced planetary defense system that has never been revealed to the public the program is supposed to be called Cassandra, was first outlined in a 2005 academic paper along with associated surveillance networks that included Oracle 4, Argus VIS and Umbra 3C. Like observers and amateur astronomers have noted unusual geometric patterns and structured emissions from 3i atlas that are inconsistent with natural cometary behavior and i have made tons of videos explaining you each one of them i've made a video with all the 13 anomalies so 3i atlas is absolutely different from everything else we've ever seen before so that prompts speculation that the object was a long-term test target for highly classified U.S. space-based observation infrastructure. Cassandra was first presented at the 57th International Astronautical Congress in Valencia in Spain in the year 2005, actually. It was designed as a planetary defense strategy to monitor near-Earth objects like NEOs, that's what they're called. And that paper has proposed an architecture capable of detecting threatening objects at extreme distances so, so that they could track them before they would do damage to Earth. Because let's be clear, the size that 3i Atlas has, the size of Manhattan, if that was to hit Earth while well, it's there's no threat from it. It won't hit Earth. But if it was, that could be an extinction level event. So that paper that wants this architecture that is capable of tracking them at wide distances, would they said it has to track them continuously through cislunar space and maintaining persistent custody via distributed sensor networks. So at that time in 2005, this was totally theoretical, but now there's leaked images from November, 2025. They actually indicate that the system may have been operational um, much earlier than publicly acknowledged. And then the Oracle program was officially launched under the Air Force Research Laboratory in November, 2022 through a $72 million contract to advance space LLC. So it operates at Earth Moon Lagrange Point One. And the publicly confirmed compo components of that include the Oracle M Mobility Demonstrator to 2024 and the Oracle P Surveillance Satellite that is targeted 2026 that would be equipped with a LIDOS imaging payload capable of wide field detection and narrow field custody of object, like continuous surveillance. But now leaked visuals suggest these satellites were monitoring 3i Atlas during perihelion and that they have captured structured emissions inconsistent with natural comet activity. That's what we're already seeing. That's what hobby astronomers are already seeing with their one to $10,000 telescope. The leaked images also mention the Argos VIS system. 
That's a space adapted derivative of DARPA's Argus IS surveillance system. It reportedly operates 256 simultaneous video streams for persistent tracking across this lunar space. And the designs of this system mirror Oracle's mission requirements, including wide field detection and autonomous processing of massive sensor data. So analysts suggest that Argos VIS could have observed 3i Atlas in high resolution during perihelion, where we couldn't see it from Earth and where it actually changed its course towards the Jupiter Hill radius. This is the craziest anomaly for me. And what would explain that they have done that? This would explain the unusually precise documentation of its trajectory and geometric plasma emissions. Where did they come from? And then there's Umbra's SAR satellite constellation, which provides complementary low Earth orbit surveillance. Umbra's 32 satellite system operational since 2021 captures 25 centimeter resolution synthetic aperture radar imagery capable of tracking moving targets in all weather and lighting conditions. So that combined with Oracle, these assets appear to create a multi-layered surveillance network with continuous Earth orbit and cislunar coverage. At the core of this system is the Cassandra database, allegedly that supposed an exabyte scale Apache Cassandra infrastructure ingesting vast amounts of data from Oracle and the Umbra sensors. And what does this database do? It enables real-time object tracking, historical trajectory analysis, and automated threat assessment. So, Together, this maintains a persistent custody record of object passing through monitored space. And now let's get to these November 2025 images of 3i Atlas. On November 2nd, 2025, four days after 3i Atlas reached perihelion, that's its closest point to the sun, and it was basically hidden behind the sun. So from Earth, we couldn't see it. November 2nd, two images appeared online that were labeled C2025N1 Umbra 3C, and then another one named Cassandra Oracle 4 Argus VIS. And I'm going to show you these images. If we look at that image, <laughs> like, wow. So one showed a geometric star-shaped emission core in a black and white resolution. And then the other image displayed a green coma with white pink plasma streams in color. These are the leaked images, guys. And I also want to show you what AI comes up with when you give AI all the current data. And that AI created image definitely looks similar to what we see in these allegedly leaked images. So analysts now note that the emissions have a structured multi-directional nature that strongly contrasts with natural cometary outgassing. We've even seen this on other images of the hobby astronomers, right? We've discussed the jets in very, very detail. So that's why many are, some are suggesting an artificial control of observation. So, again, make of it what you want, but let's talk about 3i Atlas and potentially 20 years of observation and preparation. So the conclusion is basically that this leaked evidence theorized already in 2005 may have been operational in 2025 with 3i Atlas serving as a deliberate test subject. This also raises questions on how far the coordination between military and space entities has progressed to build a modern planetary defense with natural security operations. We may never fully understand the scope of Cassandra and its related systems. 
we would have more documentation available that would be declassified, right? So the mystery continues, guys. I thought I would let you know about that. I found it interesting. And if you want to hear other stuff about 3i Atlas, the latest, I have a 3i Atlas playlist. Click it. I'm really talking about everything in detail. And I'm really trying you to trying to give you the information that is out there for you to judge, guys. But it's fascinating. I have to say that. Thanks for watching. Please like and hype this video. Do me a favor. And uh, I see you in the next one in a second if you click here. Bye-bye.